Here is my recap for Dexter Season 5, Episode 6, entitled Everything is Illuminated. All right, uh, let's talk about the little small storylines first. Uh, there's only a couple. They're pretty short. So we've got Deborah, who finally admits to Quinn she has feelings for him. They've been kind of hooking up the last couple of episodes, well, pretty much since the beginning of the season started, and they finally make it official in this particular episode. So they are truly a couple by the time the episode ends. But at the same time, you have Quinn, who enlisted the help of Peter Weller in the last episode uh, to look into Dexter. He does have some information for Quinn partway through the episode and lets him know that this guy is squeaky clean. And usually when that happens, there's something in their past that uh, is being hidden. So we've got that little storyline going on. We also have Batista and, and La Guerta, and they're kind of on the outs because of what's happening with the undercover work, his beating up that, that detective in the bar. Well, in this episode, they also make amends. And by the end of the episode, they are back together as well. They actually are finding a lead to the, the, the beheadings and the people that are getting killed, the two individuals that they're after, which actually does lead them to this club where these two individuals might be. When Batista is there with Deborah actually doing a stakeout, Deborah has to leave because there's a call of a possible shooting or a suspect, not a suspect, a victim at this warehouse. And that's going to lead us to Dexter's story here in a minute. But when Deborah goes off to go to this warehouse along with the rest of the team, Batista stays there and actually befriends this, this girl inside the club. And come to find out, she's going to help them go undercover to find these individuals who are doing these killings and beheadings. So we've got a little bit of movement on that storyline as well. And that it was right after that scene where her, him and La Guerta actually make up. And so they're a happy couple again as well. So there's some relationships that get mended in this particular episode. Now, Dexter does end up finding a new person to go after in this episode. And he leaves Harrison that night with the babysitter. Uh, and he's going off. Well, while he's on the stakeout, well, not the stakeout, but when he's going to kill this individual, he found a guy who ends up killing other guys. And when he's got the guy on his kill table and he's ready to kill him, we've got Lumen ends up calling him on the phone all frantic. I got one of the guys. I got one of the guys. And it happens to be at that warehouse that Deborah's going to. So they aren't headed there yet. The police were called at, at some point during the time that Dexter got the call from Lumen and the time he actually shows up at the warehouse. So when Dexter gets there, Lumen has one guy dead on the floor. Uh, Dexter wraps him up in cellophane, puts him in his car. There's another guy that they're looking for who kind of ran off and the one who's called the cops. They're looking for him. They're trying to find him. And they find him underneath a grate in the floor in this warehouse. They pull him out, tie him up. And Lumen wants to kill this guy. But Dexter won't let her. He's like, how do you know this is the guy? And she goes through this whole explanation on how she feels that it's this guy. And he says, you can't do this on a feeling. Well, they start having a little bit of an argument, and that's when Dexter gets a call and has to leave into the other room, and he's getting a call from the babysitter. Harrison's saying his first words and wants to talk to Daddy. Well, when he comes back, Lumen is like giving this guy the third degree, has her shoe in his mouth, and, and is really going after him, and Dexter stops him and takes her in the other room to talk to her. Well, her phone fell during this little scuffle, and the guy picks it up. And when they're in the other room, they hear the guy make a phone call and they stop and listen and come to find out he is one of the guys that did end up taking Lumen. So there was no mistaking at this point. And Dexter goes in there and breaks his neck. That's when he gets a call from his sister saying, you know, we need you at this warehouse. And he's like, oh, crap, we got to get in high gear here. We got to clean this up. So he leaves Lumen to go ahead and spray down the blood. They're going to take this guy and get rid of his body. He goes outside to change his clothes so he could show up, at, you know, there as like he's there to, you know, to help his sister and the rest of the team. And when he goes back inside, they find out that the police are there and all of a sudden Dexter hears this breaking glass outside. And so he goes out to his car and the car, the guy who they thought was dead and he'd wrapped up in cellophane was not dead. He got out and he's running out to go and try and get help. And there's this intense scene where he's running down this alleyway in this warehouse district and the police are coming from the other direction and he's coming in and he just tackles the guy in enough 
in just enough time to pull him back and pull him into the building. So he drags him in. The next scene is they see Dexter's car off to the side and they're like, what the heck is Dexter doing over here? Dexter walks out of the room and says, you guys have got to come see this. So when they go in, he had taken the other guy and made it look like there was some kind of a love thing going on with these two guys. And then that's when Masuka's imagination takes over and he gives this wild story of what these two guys did. And Dexter's like, good, this is going to take care of this situation. In the meantime, he had sent Lumen back to his house that had just been kind of, uh, you know, packed up so that he's going to leave the home because he's no longer there with Rita. And Dexter shows up at his house later that night after all this is done. And Lumen's in the tub and it kind of bring, brings a flashback to what happened to Rita. He's, she opens her eyes and he's like, I'm sorry, I'll go in the other room. She gets out. Uh, he tells her there's a towel and something she can use in the other room. So she gets dressed and he goes in there and she goes, you know, the tub wouldn't drain. And he said, well, sometimes that happens. And when he goes over there to help, un, you know, unclog it, he has a flashback of Rita and has a little panic attack there. And Lumen kind of sets him down and they actually have a heart to heart. And she kind of tells Dexter, well, not kind of, she actually tells Dexter that, I found peace tonight by killing those two individuals. She goes, but I know that that fear and that hatred is going to come back. And the only way I'm going to get rid of it is if I kill the rest of these guys who did this. She goes, I don't know what that's called. And then Dexter's in a in her monologue calls that, you know, he goes, I know what it's called. It's called the dark passenger. Mm -hmm. And so he knows what she's going through and he agrees to help her pretty much find these individuals and he's going to help her get rid of them so she can move on with her life. And that's where this episode ends. So it's not no big major story revelations in this episode, but it did move it along. It was definitely a more interesting episode than the previous two episodes. So we're going to see where this story goes from here. I do appreciate you have stuck around and who have subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, hit that notification bell. And also share these recaps with anybody you know who might be getting into Dexter before the new season comes out in November because a lot of people aren't going to have time to watch all eight seasons and they're going to want to get caught up. And these recaps are a great way to do that. I do appreciate it. We'll guys, see you guys on the next video.